There is no higher calling in terms of a career than public service, which is a chance to make a difference in people's lives and improve the world. Honorable Abike Dabiri Eroa has several times been described as a sterling Nigerian Amazon, an outstandingly brilliant broadcaster who later transmitted to an outstandingly brilliant parliamentarian. A worthy, compassionate, fair, firm, respected, and courageous leader. Fondly called Mother Teresa of the Tube because of her compassion for the less privileged, and now Mama Diaspora for pioneering efforts in putting diaspora affairs on the front burner. And in 2018, we have the largest remittances from you, our brothers and sisters in the diaspora. We're talking about $28 billion that you contributed to the Nigerian economy. So you are a force that must be reckoned with. What you have done, if you look at it literally, that's about 80% of the Nigerian budget. Honorable Abike Dabiri Erowa spent 15 years of meritorious service at the Nigerian Television Authority, where she stood out for her ability to use journalism to bring succor to millions of Nigerians, especially children, women, and the less privileged. So 15 years here at the NTA, I retired. My story will be incomplete without the values and virtues I imbibed while working here at the NTA, the virtues of hard work, discipline, commitment, selflessness, and a passion for whatever task or assignment that one is given. And of course, I cherish the friendship, and I'm so proud and happy to have been part of the NTA family. So, good evening. In 2003, representing the people of Ikorodu Federal Constituency, Lego State, Abike went to the National Assembly as a lawmaker, not a career politician to fight for the children, to fight for the women, for the weak and vulnerable. Oh, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking, especially when I see a 13-year-old come with a baby. One 14-year-old girl said to us, she doesn't know how many men have slept with her. She can't count. So it's heartbreaking, it's, 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 it's pathetic, and it's, um, I mean, it, 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 I can't even describe how I feel. Especially for the small girls, you know, and you look at them and you wonder whether their lives can ever be the same, but that is our responsibility, to help them get their lives back on track. Honorable Abike, championed the Nigerian Infant Welfare Scheme Bill, Nigerians with Disabilities Bill, Honorable Abike fought for the advancement of Nigerian women and girls by sponsoring a bill. Honorable Abike was not at the house to play games. Abike championed a bill to amend the Railway Act to allow private sector and state participation, and it worked, on record. Honorable Abike championed and sponsored the Freedom of Information Bill, and the Violence Against Persons Bill, which have both been signed into law in Nigeria. As a veteran journalist, Honorable Abike became the Chairman House Committee on Media and Public Affairs. She worked at giving the House a credible image through absolute openness and transparency. I think what I need to say is that the task ahead of us as the committee is enormous. We have a whole lot to do because we're dealing directly with human beings. We're dealing with lives of Nigerians that we shouldn't toy with. So we will look into the relevant laws, how we can strengthen the laws. Thinking about Nigerians in diaspora, Honorable Abike sponsored Nigerian Diaspora Commission Bill. Her major spotlight was in her advocacy and calls for justice and fairness for Nigerians abroad. The House notes the alarming increase in the number of Nigerian students being murdered abroad worry that our students, in search of education abroad, have become endangered species. In Ghana, four Nigerian students have been killed in mysterious circumstances in the last few months. About 18 Nigerian Malaysian students are currently in danger in Malaysia, with no intervention whatsoever so far. Yes, indeed, South Africa has been very, very hostile to Nigerians there. Whether you're visiting, whether you're a resident there, we have many, many cases of hostilities towards Nigerians in South Africa. And, but, however, we have to insist that Nigeria should not be treated with indignation, which is what is happening in South Africa, diplomacy or no diplomacy. We're treated with a whole lot of indignation. But you cannot generalize and just treat us anyhow, especially, I stress, South Africa. We played a major role. In, in ending apartheid. We have to fix our country, let's face it. We call ourselves the giant of Africa and we get treated this way. She became the Chairman House Committee on Diaspora Affairs June 2008 until 2015. 
she voluntarily did not seek re-election for a fourth term in the parliament. In her words, let's give others a chance. Because, number one, and I want the younger people to listen to this, um, after three terms, 12 years, really there was nothing to do in parliament that, I, that would excite me anymore. You know, one, two, then I, I was able to uh, ensure the Freedom of Information Bill was passed, the Violence Against Persons Bill was passed. So today I sit back and say two bills have become law in Nigeria and two bills that have been very impactful. President Muhammadu Buhari appointed her as the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Foreign Affairs and Diaspora from 2016 to 2019. Honorable Labike Dabiri was the first to be appointed as the Pioneer Chairman, CEO, Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, a position she is serving with diligence, effectiveness, and passion. For confirmation of appointment of Honorable, Honorable Abike Dabri Arewa as the Executive Chairman, Chief Executive Officer of Nigeria Diaspora Commission, in compliance with Section 21 of the Nigerian Diaspora Commission, I write to forward for confirmation by the Senate the appointment of Honorable Abike Dabri Arewa as the Executive Chairman. CEO of Nigerian Diaspora Commission. The BKW is the right material to handle that commission. This is somebody that is it's like a, the, 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 the egg she has laid. And now you are asking her to carry the egg. I hope she will carry it with all her heart. I know how she works. She works so diligently and she highly qualified and competent to handle the affairs of the Diaspora Commission. This is something that she fought single-handedly in the House when she was a member of the National Assembly and she was the chairperson for the, for the diaspora in the National Assembly. And she demonstrated the leadership, you know, in terms of coordinating other members of the National Assembly. Nigeria is now ready for diaspora Nigerians to come and invest. As a premier a pioneer chair, she's actually writing the books for every other person who's going to come behind her. It's straight blazing. But we must, as a people, come to support the stellar work that she's doing in all the programs and all the policies that are trying to set up so that we, as a people, can be great, not just abroad, but break back home as well. So I must say, Honorable Abiket Avery, my dear sister, I say thank you for all the work you've done, and I pray God continue to sustain, support, and elevate you. And on the premise of NAPA, the Nigeria American Public Affairs Committee, I must say we're here to help you on the mandate upon which your job determines, so that we together can get the job done. Once again, God bless you, and stay speed, stay well, and God speed. Thank you. Honorable Abike Dabri Erewa was, was kind enough to honor us with her presence. Honorable Abike Dabri was able to explain to the Nigerians about the functions of the uh, Diaspora Commission. It's a very good uh, commission. It's, it's the right timing that it has come. And we, we all have to work together to make it successful. And I'm throwing the challenge back at you. We have the best doctors in the world. Look at the state of our Medicare. We have the best people in the world of education arts. Look at the state of your country. So no more excuses, my brothers and sisters. You know why there are no more excuses? You have the Diaspora Commission. Let us su succeed together. Abike has always worked with passion and compassion. From her days at NTA, she successfully concluded the puzzling story of Mary the Miracle Baby, a newborn baby who is being claimed by three mothers, which Abike painstakingly resolved. She thereafter ensured that Mary had an education through to the university level by placing her on her scholarship scheme. And when Miss Oladipo Bisola Suliat cried for help, a 19-year-old student who was down with lymphoblastic leukemia and needed to get to India urgently for medical attention. Abike resolved her challenge within 24 hours. Abike's intervention in the case of Zinab Abib Aliu, a 22-year-old girl who was imprisoned in Saudi Arabia for an offense she didn't commit, 
Honorable Abike Dabiri, stood up with others and saved Zainab from the jaws of death. From China, Pakistan, Libya, to the USA, Northern Cyprus, Saudi Arabia, Russia, Brazil, and many more countries, her intervention was impactful. It is therefore not surprising that she has won over 350 awards, both internationally and locally. Honorable Abike is known as the Grand Officer of the Masses in due recognition of her selfless service to humanity. She is a fellow for the National Institute for Hospitality and Tourism. Today we have a very special opportunity to honor the Honorable Abika DeBerry for outstanding love, compassion, and care for the Nigerian people. Never in the history of Nigeria has there been a representative more honorable, more committed, more dedicated, more passionate about the lives of Nigerians, whether they live in Nigeria or they live outside of Nigeria. And we're talking about a representative of the people who has a passion for her people, no matter where they live, no matter what they do. She tells you she's going to do something, she does it. And she does it because she loves the Nigerian people. She loves the work, doing the work of the people. Uh, she is totally, completely committed uh, to the success and the future of Nigeria. Uh, I am proud to be here uh, as part of the NABN TV family uh, to honor uh, service that is exemplary and service that is without bounds. Limited, limitless service. Thank you. This is Terrence L. Baker coming to you from the studios of NABN TV. Born in Jos, northern part of Nigeria, to a parents hailed from Ikorudu, Lego State, southern part of Nigeria, Abike Dabiri got her degrees from the prestigious University of Ife, now Obifemi Owalawo University, and the University of Lagos. She also studied at Harvard University's JFK School of Government, United States of America. Married to Shigun Eroa with children and grandkids, Honorable Abike Dabiri Eroa has been a voice for the voiceless and remains a symbol of hope and inspiration to many. Her comportment, integrity, virtues, and ideals are indeed qualities worthy of emulation. And her guiding philosophy at all times is that success is not about age. It is not about character alone. It is not by how much you have, but how many lives you are able to touch. Abike, who would go the extra mile to discharge her public duty and help others, is a nation builder. Abike Dabiri has, as I said, become the news. And uh, the kind of news she's getting for herself shows a lot of philanthropy. Uh, we just mentioned uh, Mary the Miracle Baby at the beginning. There's also Zainab Abibu Aliyu, Aliyu uh, a two-year-old Nigerian, who have been executed for, for an offense she did not commit. And uh, she stepped in and uh, could pull all the strings until people listened to her rationally. Honorable Abike Dabiri Erowa, the sacrifice of time and energy for another does not go unnoticed. We at New Africa Broadcasting Network, NABN-TV, are very proud of your achievements and service to your country, Nigeria, and your continent, Africa, and to the world, NABN-TV. Want to say a very deep, big thank you to you. Please keep up the good job. On behalf of our executive producers, Dr. Leo Egbujiobi and Moses Adediji, my name is Ben Fullerton. Thank you for watching. NABN TV, inspiring a new generation.